Welcome to Talent Sprint series on most frequently asked coding questions. In this series, we will take a look at a variety of questions that have been asked in interviews as well as written exams over the years. We are not only giving you the solution but also providing you tips and pointers along the way to help improve your coding style. So let's begin today's video. Today we are going to write a program to print the names given in a string array in descending order. All right. So we have a string array wherein we have a list of names. We have to sort it out and print all the names in descending order. Let's begin. So we have written the function sort names, which is taking our string array of names as input parameter. First off, we are starting by creating an array list. Now we have to traverse through our string array and store all the names into this array list that we have created. So that we have done in this for loop. So we are traversing through the string array and adding each name one by one to our array list. Now that all the names are present in the array list, so what we have to do simply to sort the array list is use the function sort. So collections.sort will simply sort your array list and it will order your array list in ascending order. But we want the output in descending order. So for that what we do is we again use a pre-existing function reverse. So when you do collections.reverse on your array list, it will reverse your list. Since your array list was already sorted in ascending order, when you reverse it, you'll get all the names in descending order. And finally, you return the names. Fairly simple, right? Using collections, using the existing functions of those collections to sort your string array and then just print it out. Let me show you the call from main. So in the main, as you see, we have created a string of cricketer names and they are not sorted. So we are passing this string array to our function and once we get the sorted list back, we are simply traversing through it in this for loop and printing it out. So our output come out to be sorted in descending order, which will look something like this. So as you see, it's all sorted and it's in descending order as was expected. I hope you found the program interesting and you learned about collections, sort and reverse functions that we can use to our advantage and which simply reduce our program writing time tremendously. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions related to this video or if you have any questions you want us to take up in our upcoming series please don't forget to drop a mail at the email ID mentioned. Also, please don't forget to subscribe as there are many more interesting questions coming your way in the series. Thank you for watching and happy coding.